A circuit breaker is simply an electrical switch that designed to pass and interrupt power source to the load. Also, circuit breaker is designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by overcurrent or short circuit faults. You can watch the video in the description down below about inverse definite minimum time curve protection against overcurrent and short circuit. Low voltage circuit breakers are divided into three categories. MCB or miniature circuit breaker, MCCB or molded case circuit breaker or air circuit breaker. We choose between those three categories depending on current ratings. Circuit breaker could be a single pole, two poles, three poles or four poles, depending on the circuit we need to protect. Let's now bring a three phase 380 volt power source, a circuit breaker and a three phase motor. Let's manually turn on the circuit breaker and the motor will start. Turn off the circuit breaker and the motor will stop. The problem here that we have to switch on and off the circuit breaker manually. So we can't control it remotely. The second problem is the circuit breaker is not designed to be switched on and off frequently. So we will add a new component inside the circuit which is a contactor that we can control using a remotely on and off panel. This is circuit breaker symbol in electrical diagrams. Fuses are a little bit different because we can turn it on and off. Once it's connected to the circuit, we can't use it as an isolation to the circuit but it will protect the circuit by blowing off and at this time we have to change it with new fuses. Practically we use circuit breakers in power circuit and in control circuit we use a single pole circuit breaker or a fuse to protect the circuit. In the next video we will hit contactors and how we use it in our circuit. Consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.